Good evening from New York. I'm David Begno. When New Yorkers heard that an aircraft hit a building today, many people panicked, even if it was just for a moment. That is life after 9-11. Today it was a helicopter that crash landed on a high-rise building. This happened in Manhattan's theater district. Smoke was seen rising from the roof. Buildings were evacuated. It was the pilot who was killed. Police and the mayor both say tonight it appears to have been a tragic accident, not terrorism. Jerika Duncan has more. Reports of a fire on the roof of 787 7th Avenue flooded phone lines just before 2 this afternoon. He's confirmed it's a helicopter on the roof of the location at this time. It's a helicopter, came for. As people poured from the 54 story office building and others nearby, emergency crews rushed in. I feel this rumble, you hear a bam, and then my chair moved a little bit, and I'm wondering well, what's going on. These photos show the smoldering scene, parts of the helicopter reduced to rubble. The pilot, Tim McCormick, was flying this private helicopter at a high rate of speed through low clouds and heavy rain, crashing through airspace restricted due to its proximity to Trump Tower. NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill. The helicopter took off from the 34th Street heliport and about 11 minutes later crashed on the roof across the street from where we are now. McCormick was killed. The airport manager where he's based says he was an experienced pilot and very well respected in the aircraft community. But again, New York City Mayor no Bill de Blasio says there is no indication that this was an act of terror. But Governor Andrew Cuomo said what many were feeling. If you're a, a New Yorker, you have uh, a level of PTSD, right, from 9-11. And uh, I remember that morning all uh, too well. So as soon as you hear an aircraft hit a building, uh, I think my mind goes where every New Yorker's mind goes. And when you really think about it, this was an impressive response. Firefighters say they were here within four minutes of those initial calls. And get this, they were able to get water 700 feet up to the 50th floor where the helicopter was on fire. David, due to evacuations and even street closures as we speak, there are several businesses that were forced to shut down tonight. Jerika Duncan on the scene tonight. Thank you, Jerika.